In this last segment, we'll be explaining the rest of the buttons. Now, the rest of these buttons become a little bit more difficult, especially now, only due to the fact that we have yet to really start the year, so a lot of these will be blank. So, from top to bottom, we went over the school calendar, the event list, and the volunteers. Emailing teachers. This is similar to the public calendar. You click on email teachers. It will provide my email there, but once you click on my name, it will actually open up your own mail client. If you have a type of mail system that's inside of your computer, like a program, it will open that up and provide you with that. Um, however, you will find my email in very many places, so that may not be an issue. Handout, similar to that of the public site, provides you all the handouts we will have out there. <clears throat> Keep going back to the main page. The website, this will take you to our South Broward High School band website. Also, I encourage you going to this page as well. A lot of information. Click on there. Finances, we explained. Student forms. Now, the student forms button, this will provide you with information about any types of necessary forms that the child has been given that needs to be turned in. In the beginning of the year, though, we'll be receiving their band handbook. In the back of the band handbook, there will be very, there will be very um, many numerous pages that need to be filled out and returned. Here's where you can make sure that all their information has been collected and turned in. Some of them that have been underlined will be able to be downloaded from the actual Charms Office site, such as the student information sheet. John Smith hasn't turned his in. So in case he may have lost it or misplaced it, he can simply click on here. It will then automatically download the information sheet and he'll be able to print it out, fill it out, and then make sure it's turned in. If he had turned it in, it would be under the forms turned in box. The absences and tardies. Since there are no absences or tardies recorded for John Smith, nothing will be labeled. Now, if there is an absence or tardy, whether it is excused or unexcused, it will show up here listing what he missed, when he missed it, and how it was labeled if it was an excused absence, an excused tardy, or an unexcused absence or unexcused tardy. It will show you the date, the name of the event, and the event you'll be able to click on and get more information on that, and the labeling for this, ex this absence or tardiness. Click back to the main page. Point system. We don't use a point system here at South Broward due to the fact that we are on our pinnacle grading system, so we will ignore that. The next three buttons, the assigned uniforms, assigned inventory, and assigned music. Clicking on these now will show that they're all blank, since we have yet to assign our marching uniforms to the, child, to the children. Once they have been assigned a uniform, every article of the clothing, of that clothing that they will be using for the marching show will be labeled on here. Their sash, their marching jacket, their marching pants, their jumpers. All of it will be labeled on there. Reason being, it helps them keep track of what they need, helps you keep track of what they're utilizing, and also for any type of event of them being misplaced, and we would have to charge a fee and an obligation for that. Same thing with inventory. Inventory applies to any type of equipment that the students will be using, such as band instruments, breathing bags, and zipperons, so on and so forth. So once again, it's for an inventory purpose, and it's for us to all keep track of what we should have. Music. Any type of music that is not a copy, a original piece of music that is given to the child will be labeled under here in order for him to keep track of what he should have in his possession, so on and so forth. And that is pretty much every bit of information that is provided here through Charm's office. It's a great handy way to keep track of your child's um, development through the program here at South Broad High School and to keep you in the know. So if for any reason there is any questions you may have regarding Charm's office, please let me know as soon as possible. Thank you.